hey amazing guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new please uh, remember to subscribe because i've noted many people watch my videos but only a small percentage has subscribed so please subscribe if you're new if you are a returning subscriber thank you so so much for always coming back to support my dream this means so so much to me so this is my birthday week and uh, so this is my birthday week and to finish that week i decided to continue with the same charity as we did last week so we are headed to umbrella children's home and this is us on the road on kangundo road yeah so we we are headed there for a charity day and i know we are going to have an amazing amazing time together and um it, it's not far the children's home is not that far so we got here the umbrella children's home it has 54 amazing kids who you're going to see as we continue with the video and guys these kids were just moved from kahawa west they were just evacuated from kahawa west and so the children's home you're going to see here is temporary structures of what they have in the home they don't have much so guys if you're able to maybe join your friends to go and just share something with these kids they don't they just moved here they were in Kawa West, but they were moved here and let me tell you guys they are straining the resources they have they are really really straining as you're going to see in this video these are just temporary structures that they put up to just make sure that the kids have at least somewhere to sleep so if you can or if you have a group that i really wanted to, to talk about this specific uh, room this room is shared among i think 26 if i am not wrong boys you're going to hear it here So imagine this room being shared among 26 boys. I really felt so bad because it's congested. There are two beds that don't have mattresses and you just even can't imagine how they sleep. So this month of March, I'm going to be doing a fun drive or rather a mattress drive to anyone who can be able to contribute as little as a hundred shillings. I will appreciate. So this is us in the kitchen. We were just trying to help uh, where we could so immediately we got there they had already cooked lunch for the kids so we they requested us to cook supper instead so we are going to serve the kids uh the ugali and dengus that they had made then we are going to go ahead and start cooking yeah i had never met any or uh, any member of this team before and there was such a vibe guys as you're going to see as we continue with the video so here i was warming the dengus because the kids were already back here it was around 12 40 and the kids were already back to the home from church and they we had to serve them before we could just start uh, having activities with them so that is what is happening in the kitchen these guys were such a vibe we were just trying to serve up the kids yeah that is what is happening over here their jikos remind me or they look exactly like those ones of high school so they're reminding me of high school so yeah this is what is happening over here i was having a lifetime experience with these kids let me tell you guys i didn't do a big thing for my birthday like a big like a party or dinner or anything i got myself a couple of things but being here with these kids I would never want to be anywhere else. These kids were such a vibe. They were dancing. So this is them as they wait for us to be dance having, um, to be dance having, what am I saying? They were waiting for us to serve the food in the kitchen. And I really loved this cat baby. They were having, we really danced. I really danced, guys. This one is not like the one for last week. The last week one had many, many kids and the team was bigger. This time the team was smaller and also the kids were not as many. But yeah, we had so, so much fun. And let me tell you guys, if asked how or I would want to spend my birthday, I would want to be here again. I will definitely go back because I'm going Going to be doing a mattress drive for them even though you're going to give me a hundred shillings or maybe you have a mattress in your house that you don't use i would really really appreciate guys it's 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 good it feels amazing i just shared my birthday with two children's home and it feels so so good i may not have gone out of my way to 
do a extravagant thing but this is so fulfilling guys let me tell you it's so fulfilling it feels so good just seeing these kids happy and enjoying and dancing together and it's such things that keep us going when you look at these videos and these pictures and you're feeling like giving up and you're feeling like ah, i can't continue you just look at these pictures and you're like if i give up i really want to keep doing this i really want to be in such places so yeah this is the ugali over there again i said the kids are not many and most of them are small kids that's why you see food no, being like this so we had to serve on no, touch no, table no, then no, trick and dengu no, and, no, 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 and that no, is me no, and let me tell you guys i'm enjoying the glow on my skin yeah, anyway that is it yeah. yeah so this is the food we are serving for the kids and this team was so cooperative or you just take food to them and they'll come pick those are the other plates because before the food goes you have to make sure that you have counted the plates so that no kid attacks a food immediately we were done we went to the food the kids are now full it's now time for us to have a lot of of games before we could come back <laughs> and start uh, the activities here. Yeah. So this is me over here. Immediately I left the kids in the field because I was feeling like I needed to help because remember we are not, the team is not big so we, everyone had an activity to do. That's my friend Joan and these are the other guys over here. Now we were just getting ready to cook chapels and the stews and everything which the kids are going to have later in the day. Yeah. And these gents were coming in handy as well. Let me tell you guys, this team was so cooperative. I've gone to places with uh, guys who, it's kind of, you're pushing them to do the work. These ones had, like, they were pushing themselves. Kilamtu alikwatu. We were just having a lifetime experience. And I had never met them. I met them this day. I met them for the first time on this day and I was invited by a friend and I told them, ah, I'm doing my birthday, I want to join you guys and they were like, yeah, sure, you can come then join and yeah. So I would wish to have um, you guys listen to what we were saying over here, but last week I got a copyright claim or a copyright issue so I am going to mute all the music or all the sounds because there was a lot of music going on and I know I'll definitely get a copyright claim so I'll have to do a voiceover for this one. Yeah, so we did the dishes out there. Then we came back in. I was cutting cabbage with my friend, Joan. There were guys doing Yongaya Chapo. There are other guys who were cutting onions. And yeah, it was an amazing, amazing day. I feel like I haven't spoken to you since we came here. So we are at the Umbrella Children's Home in uh, Kamaki. So uh, there are lots of activities that are happening. The kids have are out playing with some of the members we came with. We are just doing dishes. I'm not even done. I want to show you from here, but when I go in there, I won't talk because um, I might get a copyright issue. So I'm going to show you the cleaning dishes that people doing uh, cutting cabbage, basically just cooking. But the kids have eaten. When we came in, uh, there was ugali and dengu that had been made, so the kids had to eat that. So we decided to just cook that they'll have in the evening as we just interact with the kids. So let me go and show you. Yes. So, welcome to, to Maureen's YouTube channel. And don't forget to press that here. Yeah, okay. I'm now welcome to Wingina on TikTok. I'm going to go You can clearly just tell. Again, the music issue, so I'll have to mute because here we were just having a lifetime experience. We danced. Let me tell you guys, we danced in that kitchen.
So here is Tim Chapo and they were doing the most. This is the founder of the group and she's such a vibe. Let me tell you, I laughed with her almost the whole day. Then, uh, yeah, that is me over there. I'm after I was done doing uh, the dishes and rinsing, so I came here to help uh, the Chapo guys and clearly, I am not made for this me. <laughs> Let me tell you, my hands were burned. Hey, and please don't ask me about the shape of those chapels because I was not the one rounding them. Hey, mine are even worse. These guys were doing a good job. Mine are clearly even worse. So, yeah. <laughs> Are done cooking and uh, the kids are uh, the kids were served at around six so that was meant to serve as their supper yeah so after that i didn't record much after that because i was involved in serving this is uh, the introduction this was what happened after the kids ate i didn't record much but yeah so this is the director of the the director of the home and he's such an amazing amazing man yeah so uh this there is also another group that joined in later they were coming for uh is it a site visit okay i call it i not i wouldn't want to call it a site visit a pre-visit yeah that's the word they're coming for a pre-visit they'll be coming this coming uh they'll be coming to visit this week yeah this coming the next week the week that was following so yeah they were just giving the kids the gifts that they had brought them and yeah that is basically what happened uh for that part of the evening they just give them the gifts and they were the kids had a song and i really loved the song yeah yeah So that day was a success and I had these videos in my archive so I decided to insert them here. This is a gift that was brought to me by my amazing friend Jane. She brought me a gift at work on my birthday and I hadn't opened it so I decided to come and open it here. I didn't know what it is. Actually guys initially I thought this is food. I initially thought this is food until I opened. Uh, let me tell you guys, Jen, you know I love you. Yeah, until just look at that. Thank you. See what Jen gave me. Oh my god. Thank you. Just look at this. I'm so happy. Oh my goodness. This is. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you so 
much, Jen. This thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Jane. Happy birthday, Maureen. You're loved. You're appreciated. Thank you. So later that same day, I received this uh, gift or this cupcake. So let me tell you guys. Thank you. Thank you. This really means a lot. I received these cupcakes and I was so happy. I was actually judging. I was actually saying I'm not going to eat them. <laughs> I'm just going to. Hey, I love them. I really love them. And I was so grateful. is how you know i am eating too much these are lemons this is mokimo and cabbage this is milk this is green tea and these are my favorite birthday cakes i still haven't eaten even one of them because because i'm so happy i don't want to eat this one i want it and i don't want Yes, happy birthday more I don't want to eat it. I've already eaten the like this one. Now this one, I do not want to eat. Oh, you can actually remove. Oh, you can. So how do I remove this? I think you can't. Okay, I wish I can remove the whole thing together without breaking it. You can actually do remove it. Yeah. You actually can't remove it. Yes, you can't remove it. So this one I'm not eating. And I just want it to be here. And here. Oh, the other way. Like this. Today I'm just going to cheat on my diet and just eat cake. Just today. Hmm, I also got this watch. This is this bad day. I got so many things. Got this watch. As it's in the silver. Mm -hmm. And I'm loving it. Those cupcakes came packaged here. They came packaged here and now the box is empty. Nutrition by Ndenya, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we are hiking soon, so here is the it's empty. I've like literally eaten all this food. <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay, you will. I'll have to take the milk. This milk. I'll take the milk, I think, later. Okay. It's so sweet. Like, I have finished those cakes. Of course, I've given out a couple of them. These things are so sweet. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so happy. 
Yeah, the spoons I have used. I don't know who's going to clean them. Just put them here. This is food. I had my not much more. These things are so good. You remember when we were babies? Okay, not I don't know whether you guys used to do. Anytime my mom would bring us queen cakes or cupcakes, we used to eat this paper. But now we are grown up. We cannot do that. So yeah. I am so happy. I am so happy that means a lot to me. Thank you. So I can in general say that I had an amazing, amazing uh, two weeks of celebrating my birthday. It was so fun. I want to say thank you so much to everyone who took time to contribute, to everyone who gave me food, to people who gave me blankets, to people who contributed towards uh, the success of those two children's home. I had the most or the best birthday ever. See you.